Well, it's one of the few breeds of dogs that doesn't donkey paddle, but instead will do a modified breaststroke and could end up saving your life. So Halil Mohadeen shares why these dogs can end up working as lifeguards at your local beach. Help! 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 No, this woman isn't actually drowning. Help! 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 It's a simulation, but this 135 pound Newfoundland doesn't know that. Willow is just going on instinct. They were bred specifically for water rescue. At the North Central Newfoundland Club water rescue test in Mount Pleasant, dog owners like Danae Baker Austin are hoping to get their Newfoundlands rescue certified. In the United States, we don't honor a official title as a water rescue dog, but in Italy and in, um, I believe, France and for sure in England, they actually help and work alongside lifeguards. Get it, hold tight. What makes Newfoundlands like Willow here unique is their double coat. The first is to repel water, the second to keep them warm. Not to mention, get this, webbed feet. They can haul boats in. They were for the fishermen. They would do nets and their, their catch of the day, and they would haul it in. If someone fell overboard, they would could do that as well. And these dog owners say getting more Newfoundlands to help out in an official capacity is possible. It could even help with the major lifeguard shortages. There is a beach that does have a Newfoundland that works in Maine. But it's not the Newfoundland strength. Pulling more weight than the average lifeguard or ability to handle sub-zero temperatures that draws these proud owners to the breed. Most of all, their, their expression and their sweet temperament. Finding their rescue skills aren't limited to the water. Being a lifesaver in my life, providing uh, the support constantly, um, and uh, that provides great, great positives in anybody's life. In Mount Pleasant, Tahleen Mahaddeen, TMJ4 News. Well, in the U.S., two Newfoundlands by the name of Bowie and Beacon have worked alongside lifeguards at Scarborough Beach in Maine as second responders. While there are no official plans to allow similar use in Wisconsin, Newfoundland enthusiasts are hopeful.